Doctors are trying new tactics to make sure pain management after surgery doesn't become a painkiller addiction. And KXAN's medical reporter Gigi Barnett discovered today good nutrition is just one key part of the program. Two years ago, Marty Martinez felt a pain in his hip that cut into his golf game. He needed a hip replacement, but Martinez didn't want more pain or painkillers from surgery. I was scared. I was scared of the process. I was scared of the surgery. But by April, his hip hurt so bad, he went through with the surgery. Doctors at St. David's Medical Center put him in a new program designed to cut down on pain prescriptions that could lead to opioid dependency. It's called ESR, short for Enhanced Surgical Recovery Program. I was so without pain that I was like, I, I have no pain. The ESR program encourages patients like Martinez to walk around shortly after surgery and go home much sooner. St. David's anesthesiologist Dr. Eric Allen says one of the key components in the program is nutrition. Instead of fasting before surgery, patients are given an energy drink and they eat right after. Another important piece of this puzzle is to start eating sooner afterwards so that you can heal faster. And it's a big patient satisfier. I was going to say, you're not hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> I mean, that's right. Really what it is. Dr. Allen says patients also learn through the program that pain management may be easier than they thought. It isn't going to be that our only tool is the narcotic hammer. We're trying to say there's a bunch of different tools out there. I'm Gigi Barnett, KXAN News. Here are a couple of other key components of this pain management strategy. Instead of opioids, doctors use several different types of pain medications after surgery, and they make sure patients aren't dehydrated or overhydrated during surgery, which can intensify pain after a procedure. Other hospitals like Seton and Baylor Scott and White have similar programs.